What's up? Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time and we show you the junk that we buy and we tell you what we paid for it and what we're going to sell it for. And you can shop along at jamierayvintage.com under Saturday thrift haul. It's the small business Saturday thrift woo, haul. Woo, anybody do some small business shopping today? I bought, I've actually been small business shopping all week, but we had a lot of people that came to the shop yeah. today. It was fun. We got to meet a bunch of people. Did a lots of selling and somebody came and dropped off a ton a of stuff. A lot of this thrift haul is brought to you by our fellow crafter Renee from the West Jordan, South Jordan area. I can't remember which Jordan. Sorry, One of the Renee. Jordans. <laughs> uh, anyway, here in Utah Valley. Um, and she brought a ton of stuff. So we're like, you know what? We just cleaned the porch off. Let's sell it tonight. So this is going to be a super big thrift haul for Small Business Saturday. So it's going to be fun. Um, everybody's just saying hi. If you guys have questions, you can comment below. Caitlin is on here. She's going to be dropping links to the items that we show you, but you can always just go to the Thrift Hall Collection, and we're going to be painting um, here and eventually, maybe. I don't know. We'll see what we get. We have some one. things to paint, but we also have a lot of things to show, <laughs> lots of textiles over here, some fun things. I'm going to show you guys this. We're going to get started. This is $22.95. This is from Renee, I believe, yeah? Yeah, that's from Renee. Okay. Um, I would have bought this probably for up to $5. And are we selling it picture and everything? Are we painting the frame? What are we doing? No, as is for $22.95. Okay. It does need a little bit of repair. I will make sure that happens before it comes to you. These corners need a little bit of glue and some love. We'll get that going and I think, send it out sturdy. I think it would be cool painted, the frame, but I also don't hate it the way that it is so i'm going to leave it the way it is and then somebody else can paint it if they want to or leave it as is it's really cool all right oh 1995 i put it you, in wrong you put it in wrong or i wrote it wrong, wrong. cheaper is better than more expensive right hey that's the small business saturday special <laughs> <laughs> all right let's talk about this special one what is it so i grabbed this because you know the paper mache stuff is actually really hot right now um, they're fun to paint. They're fun to just leave as is, depending on what your decor style is. When I grabbed this, I was like, Jamie, look, I found a deer bunny. Because the head is very reminiscent of like a deer. I think painted, if you painted this all up, like maybe like a white or a bright it gray. Needs some glitter. I don't know about glitter, but if you painted it, I think that it would lose some of its deer characteristic because it's the color of a deer right now but it's definitely a bunny. This head's just, it's got a real sharp jawline, so. Or maybe it's like a dog with a dog tail. Maybe, it's got a cute little bunny tail no, back here. It's a bunny. Anyways, $12.95 for the cute paper mache bunny. That was a Zeb pick, you paid $1.50. Thrifted this at the Deseret Industries or the DI for short, cause that's a mouthful, Deseret Industries. Uh, $1.50 is what we paid for it. It's a jackrabbit, Bobby said. Hey, there you go. That is probably a very accurate description of the animal, Bobby. I like it. Better than the deer bunny. Let's get rid of this big mamma jamma croc. Okay, so this croc also from Renee's back porch offerings. Um, got a couple chips in it. If you look online at the listing before you purchase it at jamierayvintage.com, you can see them. It's heavy. Don't drop it. It is heavy. It's got like some blue in the bottom of it here. I think that's on purpose. It's yeah, it's got like some stain. Aged and it's got some crazing inside. It's a really pretty croc. It doesn't have any labeling on what it. Is, what would it be like a number three? I would say it's probably a solid four. Yeah, it's the same size as Maybe. this one up here. So it's a number four. Yeah, I would say it's a number four. Um, it's $44.95. And if we hadn't got it from Renee, I probably would have spent at least $15 for it. If it had like a label on it, then it'd be worth a lot more. Just making sure there's no questions. Everybody's good. Okay, let's talk about the Pampered Chef. So I buy this a lot, and it always sells the night that I list it. Um, it's really sought after, expensive if you buy it directly from them. I paid $3 for this Dutch oven bowl. It's going to be $16.95. And then $3. So this one I haven't actually seen before. That's a it's big, like a pie plate. Yeah, that's or a big like a pie tart pan. plate. $14.95 for this one. Or you could use this to make Dutch, um, not Dutch, deep dish pizza. Oh. That would make a bomb deep so dish. So if you don't dish. buy this, I see some deep dish in my future well, soon. Well, I have oh. used this size to do deep dish pizza. Sorry, there's like. It was on the porch. There's some leaves. It was on the porch, and then we blew the porch off with the, the leaf no, blower. No, it was in the, in the garage. 
Oh. That's where it's equally good. dusty and yeah. And so dirty. we will dust it before it gets to you. This is an oval baker. Um, I paid three dollars for it, and we're selling it for sixteen ninety five. Did but you tell them how much we're selling this one for? Yeah, fourteen ninety five, and the sixteen ninety five for the bigger one. So if you find this pampered chef, it always does really well because I think these sell for like forty to sixty dollars. Well, that one's yeah. already seasoned, so winning. Yeah. You know, Deb says love Pampered Chef. Me too. Yeah, it's good stuff. I Jamie like actually it. used to sell it. We used to have the Pampered Chef parties at the house, and she would go all over the place. And then she did Mary Kay or maybe before. No, I did Beauty Control. Oh, Beauty Control. Oh, I also have sold Mary Kay. Yeah, it was during her uh, MLM business ventures when hey, we were first married. I have been selling stuff most of my life. Of some sort or another. I've sold Beauty Control, Mary Kay. Like she's like 20 and selling Pampered, Pampered Chef. Chef. And... and Really successfully, I might have. Making money. I'm telling you, what else? I, I don't know. <laughs> and you also did mortgages at the same time. Like, that was her day job. Oh, well, yeah. You got to do things. Okay. This is a Jamie pick. The Jelly Cat from London. Um, but it's a, a lamb. It's, it's a not lamb. actually a cat. It's, Jelly Cat's the brand. It's super soft and, and plushy, but, you know. Virginia it's, says it's those are sheep. great prices. It's a little sheep. So, you know, we love it. Nine ninety five for this guy. Yeah, so cute. it's just really soft. And I, anytime I find a soft lamb in really good condition that's cute, I buy it because we love sheep and they sell lots really well. and lots. I told you lots of textiles today. I'm going to show you this little pile. I do. And then I we'll run them pillows. through just so you guys know because I know we get a lot of questions. Sorry about like textiles and stuff. I'll run it through the sanitize cycle and the dryer. And that way I'm to make sure that it's sanitary. Spray with Lysol, run it through the sanitary cycle, and it's brand new. Yeah. Well, it's brand new used, it's in good shape. No, no, no seams ripped or anything like that. So they used to have long, long burger basket parties. Oh, nice. Kai said that she loved having them. I've never even heard of that. I didn't even know until somebody gave me those baskets. They probably dropped like, them off on my back porch a few like months two, ago. That was probably like it was six months ago, a year ago. I, feel I don't like know. It was over a year, but I didn't even know they were worth anything until somebody you guys told me, "Oh, that's worth a lot of money." I was like, "What?" And I had to Google. I had no idea. All right, so this was in great shape, and then we dropped it at the thrift store, and I looked at the guy right after he rung it up, and I'm like, it's cool. I'll fix it. Yeah, so <laughs> we will glue this back together and paint it. It's got the great, like, kind we of have all the pieces. flowery detail that we love, um, and then we'll wax it. And by the time we do all that, you'll never know it's broken. We paid, what's the price on that part? $1.50. $1.50, and it'll be $12.95. <laughs> I saved all the parts. I was hoping we'd get it glued together before tonight, but apparently that wasn't happening. I can glue it together during. I'll show you guys what I use and how I do it. It's just a super glue, but it's a class C super glue. You can get it on online, um, various places, but it's it's a little sturdier than most of your hardware store super glues. I get it from an industrial source, which I won't disclose, and it's not available to me anymore anyway. So Becky says that in she's she must be in the UK. She says that's a good price on the Jelly Cat stuff toy. They are expensive brand here in the UK. Nice. I didn't even, I didn't know it was an expensive brand. I thought it was cute. And well, then I looked London it up right and I looked the up the, Yeah, well, I looked at the value after I got home and I was like, oh, I did good. So all right, little little close here. This one, um, I think you could actually get this off. So I'm gonna try oven cleaner. Okay. I think it'll come right off because it's already scratched. Um, nobody's bought it yet. So I'll retake a picture of it and relist it once I put oven cleaner on it to clear the cloche. So it's a great cloche. It had a little bit of frosting on there, but it's it's probably just been tossed in a box with a lot of other stuff at one point and it's got some scratches on it. I am interested to see if the oven cleaner works. We're, we've got some oven cleaner projects coming up. Yeah, we got to do them before the weather gets bad because you got to do those things outside. Well, we got that big shop now. We can just oh, throw the tarp big down. Oh, we got the barn. Look at us all bougie with the barn. it down in the barn. And, we're and not then quite as cool as Tom Fisher in his barn. No, his barns. He's got like three barns that are like eight times the size of my one barn. Well, let's just say <laughs> barn square footage is spendy here in the good old Utah. So yes. we'll take. We are happy to have whatever we could get. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to show this. Remember the other like last week? Yeah. It's funny how I find things in clusters. So like I've wonder, never seen these before. We found it at a different thrift store i wonder if like because you know how the distribution center for the di's up here they get a bunch of stuff and if and one store gets out. a lot of things and has too much stuff they'll spread it to other stores through the region i don't know um and so we found two of these at two different stores yeah last week we had the one with the sheep this is more like a southern estate like mount it. vernon actually yeah. the home of washington sunshine biscuits i paid a dollar and i'll sell it for 19.95 these look really great up on the wall and the one from last week sold fairly quickly too. 
It was a dollar. It was a dollar. Yeah, I think I said it. I, I don't, know. I don't oh. remember. I'm just throwing that in there for good measure. It's funny. All right. It twice. So we've got this. This was uh, $2. Did you pick this up at the DI? Uh, yes. Okay, so $2. Um, and it's just, it, I think it's made to hang on the wall, but it could also sit on your countertop. I think it would be great for like a little potted plant in here or mm -hmm. even like your recipes or, you know, various things. It's Lots just of, cute. Oh, you know what? You could do like a bunch of different spices in here too. Yeah. You can do spices. I mean, I, unless they were in cute jars, I probably wouldn't do you that. You could put this on your table with spices, like your favorites. You could put a salt and pepper and then some napkins. Or also salt and pepper and your uh, your Red Robin seasonal salt that you love on fries. Dorothy wants to know if we Pillow Talk negotiated the space in the garage. <laughs> Funny story. So here's the thing. You know, we were having some banter back and forth just for the fun of it. But I'm sorry, I should preface this with we just showed the interior of the church. Yeah. So if you haven't watched that video, you have to watch yesterday's it. Yesterday's video, if you don't know what we're talking about, yesterday's video, we had some banter back and forth in the video, and I left it in because, you know, that's, that's how we talk. Um, and everyone's like, let's have, have his garage space. So I'm going to have a lot of tools in there and space in there, but we're also going to store a lot of furniture because where do I work on the furniture that needs repaired? in the garage or the shop or the barn as we're calling it and who purchases some of those products that actually are in there, some of the furniture actually about i would say about 50 percent that's in there now is stuff i bought we so. he likes to blame the junk collecting on me but the truth is it's the both of us i just love it more than he does so it becomes my i was junk. teasing her by telling her to find a place in the church because that's like up a bunch of windy narrow stairs to those classrooms upstairs where we would have room to store it i'm like who's gonna haul it up there it would be me i'm not doing it and if we don't <laughs> have any more junk that means we're out of business so yeah. there you go anyways so not long and the short of it we did talk about it, but we've known since the beginning how we wanted to like arrange it to fit it all yeah. in there. And we're pretty good about it. I think eventually we'll have to get like a Connex storage space. I don't think eventually. I think that's probably going to happen <laughs> fairly quickly. Yeah. <laughs> like this will be the furniture we don't want to get all super gross and dusty while I work on it and fix it. All yeah, right. These that. tins are from old refrigerators. They were either like uh, veggie drawers or meat drawers or ice trays. I don't know where they I picked they, them up for $10 and $12. So we got these up at uh, Vintage Peter. Market Days. Yeah. So this is $22.95. The same price, actually. Yeah, $22.95. This one is blue and just plain blue. And I love this one because it's the classic farmhouse white with the black edge. A couple little chips little and chips. things, you know. But how cool is this? Like, I would love a refrigerator with metal. Our refrigerator costs thousands of dollars and it's got broken drawers. So fun fact, when we get rid of that refrigerator that's in the cottage, that's and it's it's fairly old and it runs all day long. So we're probably going to replace it with something Does that it doesn't have metal run drawers all day too? long. It has metal drawers. It's an old Frigidaire yes. with metal drawers. I will drawers. sell all of those drawers. <laughs> I'm just saying, before we go getting rid of it, just so you know. Tom says, junk, I know junk. Don't worry about the dust. A power washer solves all that. <laughs> so I take my leaf blower to the dust. It works great. Yeah. <laughs> we use the leaf. We've been cleaning out this garage here because we're moving the items from here to there. And then we have a small storage unit that's actually like half empty. We're going to show you that probably yeah, Monday. Monday, and Monday we'll, you get to see the moving of all the you And get then to we'll see show you junk. how the garage is kind of getting laid out and organized. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Okay. All right, on here. two dollar um, cutting board. I did not list that. I, are you sure it's not on there? Is there a price on it? No, but this was. Oh, from I the thought other I did. Day. If this isn't on there, it will be on there soon. We always snag these, so I'll talk about it if it's not on there. It was two dollars. We usually find them for the dollar fifty to three dollar range, but this is. I want to say this is maple. Oh yes, it is. So it's going to be sanded and oiled, and it'll be fourteen ninety five. Yeah, but this is like a nice maple cutting board. I, it almost looks like it's oak, but it would be a really light white oak if it was. Um, and the grain is tighter than that, so I want to. I, I think it's a maple. But to buy this wood to make this would probably cost me about eight or nine, maybe even ten dollars before I even glued it up or did any work to it. These days here in Utah, that's how much because we don't have these trees that grow naturally, so it's all imported. it's exotic, it's like exotic wood from the southwest or the uh, south, not southwest. Um, so two dollars, and we're gonna sell for $14.95, and we're gonna sand it and oil it, and it'll be good to go. 
Nazis. Oh, Sally, super chats. She said the church is going to be fabulous. Thank you, Sally. We think so too. We we are so excited. I, I feel like it's been a long process. It's been since what February, February is when we started talking to them. And it's now them. almost December. So it's been such I, So I'm, we started talking to them in February. It was not up on the market for sale. We just approached them and asked them if they would be interested took in us selling till it. April to, us. to get under contract and we closed the end of October. Yep. So it's it was a process. But it's done. And I actually still have to do more paperwork for the I SBA know. tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't I told them by the end of the week, so they're gonna wait a day. So this is from Renee on the back porch. It's so cute. It looks like a metal doily. It's pressed tin all around here. And then it's got it. Sometimes you get the prints that are all blurry and not great. This is a good print on this clock. Yeah, we like the clock face. We probably would have spent at least eight bucks for it. And we're selling it for $24.95. And we're not painting it because I actually like the color. Yeah, it's good. It's got like a coppery, bronzy, brass color. It's like a mixture of the three. All right. I also finally have a and little bit And it sold. Of room. So somebody else must have liked it. Yeah. How's the volume tonight? Is it good? We're sharing a mic. We really do need to invest in some new mics because ours have just died a slow death. They're well, not even that old. That's what makes me sad. So they're nice mics. I just dropped the receiver down the stairs the other day. And so now I can't read what mic's connected and what's mic's muted. And so it's like a mystery, like Is which mic's right? working. Is this right? Feels wrong. That's what you put on there. Someone's getting a deal. Okay. I don't I think like normally you would have sold this for at least $9.95 to $12.95. Yeah. Two dollars. And I guess that's for sale for seven. I don't think that's the right one. No, there's another little one right there. And how much is that one? That one's also actually I don't think that one's. I think you put that on the wrong one. No. I don't know. Okay, hold on. We're gonna hold we're gonna do some. How about you show them show them this? Okay. So also back porch offering. This is a little box with some mirrors in the bottom, and then it's got almost like a transfer on the glass that's got some like a stamp and a letter on it. It says know. something Canada on it. I don't know if that's going to show up. Twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. So I bet you this is the maybe one. that's for that one over there. Yeah. So let's do this one next before we forget right. how much. Yeah. I was like, dang. Got the wrong price tag on there. All right. So we paid two bucks and we're going to sell it for twelve ninety five, and it has a seal. This one. This is so fourteen ninety five. You can put, you can put tapes in it. Hold on. This is fourteen ninety five. We probably would have paid two, three bucks for this at Sorry. the thrift store. It smells cleaning. Like cleaning. Like they used it for their soaps. Yeah, somebody had soap in that. It smells like like Dove bar soap. Yeah, I mean it could smell worse. It smells good. It smells like clean soap. The the scent is free. With did purchase. We them, did we show them this stuff, or did I just put it back here because we were out of room? Okay. All right. So this is thrifted cake cake dome footed cake set. I think it's one of those cool ones that it boxes, is that can um, be used as a punch bowl too. So I took a picture of showing it as a punch bowl and then also a cake plate. We paid five dollars and it's twenty two ninety five. Got a pretty design in the bottom too. Maybe oh. here, pull on that. Okay. You got it really good. Okay. I don't want to yank it down and have it like. This so. Way. Still has its original box. And there's the bottom. You guys see that? Yeah, it's really pretty. Becky says hang chairs from the ceiling. There's actually like a big tall shelf in the barn yeah. that we're gonna put lots of chairs on. And I just bought four more chairs today. All right, and now it's a punch bowl. Ta-da! Marlene says volume sounds good to her. Perfect. All right. Okay. Oh, I should mention we are running a Black Friday, um, Cyber Monday sale. It ends Monday. It includes some IOD that's 40% off, it, which is an uh, amazing deal. And then we have milk paint and bond 20% off. We have holiday items I think this that is are the not. First time we've done 40% yeah. off IOD. Yep. And then um, holiday items that are not in the thrift collection um, are 40% off and then 40% off clothing and then 50% off DIY spot kits. So lots of great stuff. If you're still wanting to shop for Small Business Saturday at jamierayvintage.com. So while you're getting your thrift haul on, you can also get your discount sale on. Okay, this is a tin. Jamie brought this back from Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, right? Yes, um, and I paid $10. It got a little mushed in her bag. Hey, it's authentic Jamie Ray 
damage because I had to bring home a suitcase, but I think it's still it's still cute. I thought yeah, I was gonna use it. The list of poses, haven't. right? It's got a little. I mean, you can see it. It's got a little dent and some some things going. Don't on. we all have a few little issues? I got a lot of little issues, and they all add up to be a bit one big issue sometimes. And it's gonna be twenty two twenty six ninety five. Sorry. I think I paid ten or fifteen dollars um, in Pennsylvania for this, and it was it's from nineteen uh, eighty two, and it says Nina, so you can look up the maker Nina. That's a that's a year you were born. It's a good year. It's a great year. I also have some artwork with sheep on it for nineteen eighty two. So sheep were hot in nineteen eighty two. Okay, this also from the back porch. Anybody need a blingy blast? This came from. It's it's got like rhinestones and stuff on it. It's like blessed but sparkly. I feel like it's, it's a good it, Christmas decoration. It's actually it's cut out of what Wood. looks to be, um, I want to say oak. Yeah, that's oak. So it's it's like inch and a quarter. It's it's like five quarter oak. And it's it's hefty. Oh, Susan just bought that wood wall shelf. Oh, nice. Good job, Susan. Yeah, I like the blingy. That actually, you know what that reminds me of? If that was on a hat, who would wear it? Mara. Mara. <laughs> so if nobody buys it, maybe I'll ship it to Mara because I think she would like that. And she also likes. And she also likes the word blessed. Blingy blessed, like that's Mara all day long. If you guys don't know Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy, she's a friend of ours and she loves herself a blingy hat. All right, so Holly picked up that oval clock. Nice. While you're getting stuff, I'm just going to go through. Glenda bought the big old crock. Good job, Glenda. So this is like a uh, little bookshelf, or Jamie thinks that it would be great to do your kitchen, like your cooking, your cookbooks. That's what I think it is. Maybe hymnals. Yeah, in my, church. maybe, but it's 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 definitely like handmade, homemade, um, custom for somebody. We're probably are we painting this? Nope. I'm leaving it black it's like a dark stain i like the way it is i oh, think it's okay. cool i think if you like wiped it down it's just got a really good age to it and we're, i love that it's handmade yeah we're selling it for 39.95 39.95 and it sits at an angle so your books will sit down in there nice they're not going to slide, slide off. off i like it you could also use it for dolls oh yeah it could be a church pew for american girl dolls just thinking outside the box. Um, let's see. Denise says, Lauren was so great at the shop. Give her a raise. Lauren actually just um, got a raise not too long ago. She's awesome. She has worked for us since for years. And then she used to work at Molly's before it was my shop. So I've known Lauren for a lot of years. She's yeah, a good She's egg. worked we for love us her. for two years now since the shop has been ours. And she worked with us before that. So... All right. Jana said doll bench too. Jana and I are on the same wavelength. I didn't see that comment first. So sweet. All right. This also came from Miss Renee. And I don't think the photos do it justice. It's like a really cute pot with like wood. It it actually would be cute in a cabiny type theme too, even not for just for Christmas, but it's got pine cones on it and glitter. Um, and it was she originally bought it at Savers for $2.99 and I'm selling it for $6.95. I'm gonna bring this down. All right, so let's show. Is can you grab the tarnished silver sleigh? Marie bought that, or not Marie? Amy, Amy bought the sleigh. Yes. She also got herself some paint. So that's tarnished silver that came from Miss Renee, and I probably would have paid at least um, three or four dollars for it, and I sold it for twelve ninety five. The camera will focus off your face. On what face? Not to hide your cuteness. <laughs> oh felix loves some pampered chef felix bought the cake pan and the rectangle baker i tell you guys like i'm sure that they're probably worth more than i'm selling them for but i always make a profit and they always sell fast at the price that i sell them for and i get such a good deal that i feel like i'm happy well, to stoneware is so good on. to cook in if if, if you're a uh Absent-minded baker like I am, it really saves you because it takes it a hot minute because it's so thick to burn stuff. Yeah, you can leave cookies in for a long time. Where's the salt? And pepper I have them back oh. here. Okay. Oh, I was looking for the wings. The wings are over here okay. somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna grab a few things. You're gonna grab some stuff. Yeah. All right. So, salt, so this is a pepper shaker in the form of a Christmas tree. Yeah a single hole so i really probably wouldn't use it it's um it, it actually took the pepper out pretty good you oh, really? want it to be a fine ground pepper we'll yeah. say that <laughs> um and then this is the salt 
It's got like a Santa on it. Much better uh, pictures on the website, but check that out. It's a set. How, um, these are twelve ninety five. These were also on the back porch, and uh, I probably would have paid at least a dollar, maybe two dollars for each of them. Yeah, they're so cute. I love it because they're like the tarnish silver. I think they're the same brand as that candle holder. Mm -hmm. So they, these also came from Renee. Okay, let's show these angel Mary, wings. Pass this your way? Yep, Angie got a stencil, but she also bought these wigs. They came from Renee. So they've got this side here, but they also have quite a bit of detail on this side. They're, they're like layered on the back side, even though the front side's all one wing. I think it's because they probably went on an angel or some sort of doll. So you could see this from the front and then this is the back. I, don't, I think they're just made to clip on like a decor or you could put it on a tree. Maybe. Because right. it was with a bunch of Christmas decorations. But you could also be right too. These are good. $9.95 for these wings. All right. So we're going to get rid of the glass because it's clinking together. We have no subfloor and we live in a hundred year old house. So when we walk, things shake and I think they're clinking together on camera. These I picked up. So cute. Can, you have longer arms than me. Can you show them these cow mugs? Yep. They got to see the cow mugs in all their glory. Total farmhouse. It's not focusing when I bring it close. Hang on. Okay. Let me try something. All right. Zeb's so going to try something. I'm going to change the lens. You're going to change the lens? Uh-huh. How do you do that? I'm just changing it from focus to control. Okay. Now tap it. It's just looking at my face. Yeah. It loves me. What if I get my face out of here? I did. I, I got it out of there. <laughs> it's still blurry. It's still not focusing. It like right. It like this zone right here. You can't really see it. There's well, there's so. On the website. I promise you, they're cute. I'm sorry that the stinking camera is being dumb. But if you love cows, these mugs are a must. Um, Nine ninety five for two of them, and I paid seventy five cents each. Okay, cute little seventy five cent each. These are like a really pretty teal blue, and they're swirly and have like a fun design on the bottom. Picked up two of these and they were 75 cents each and I'm selling them for $11.95 for the pair. Jamie, how's your dad doing? My dad is doing good. He's in rehab from the hospital, getting stronger, doesn't like the food, and we're real, hoping to get him home in a week or two. He was real grumpy about the food. I'm like, well, are they feeding you burgers? What can you He's like, yeah, they got burgers here, but they're all dried out. <laughs> Jane says good night. 3 a.m. is approaching fast. I think her hands get up at 3. Jane. I'm glad that my sheep like to sleep. Yeah, 3 a.m. is... That's tough. That's why I don't... This is not a very figure-flattering, fluffy sweater. <laughs> if anybody asks if I'm pregnant, you're in trouble. I am not. All right, so this is the deal of the century. $2, and I shook it, and I was like, I bet that they're all there. Sure enough, a four canister set all there for two bucks. This one says tea. They were all stacked inside each other. And I also got these two bird um, Neve Co. Hong Kong molds. Look at these cute little copper color molds with the birds on them. Um, all for two bucks because they were all inside this at the thrift store. This one says coffee on it. Um, and I looked up this brand. It's West Bend. These are pretty collectible. I did find sets for more than I'm selling it for, but they were like in more pristine condition. So I'm selling this set for $39.95 for all four canisters. And then I'm selling the birds Sugar. for $12.95 for the set of two. So definitely the buy of the week was the $2 I spent on this set because I got all of this and these for two bucks. And then this big one's flower. What size is the boxwood wreath? Maybe 14 inches, 16 inches in diameter? I would say at least 16. Not quite 18, but Look at 16. it next to my head. It's big. Yeah. So this also came from Renee. It's $14.95. It is a preserved wreath. So these are actual boxwood leaves. And it's pretty cute. And it looks like somebody did it. Maybe did it themselves. There's foam on the back. Um, and they did a good job. So... I would have paid probably a couple bucks for this, maybe three or four. And it's, oh, it's got a little. It's got a little hanging. It's got strength. a little hanger. Oops, can you fix the? Oh, is it time? Yep, it stopped. Oh, that's a horrible picture of me where it stopped. You guys, hurry, Zeb, hurry. It did this before. Oh, no, it's doing the same thing as it did the other day. Oh, gosh, that face. It says it's busy. 
Are we gonna have to use the? Yeah, I'll just I'll do it real quick. Do not put the canisters in the dishwasher, Elaine says. <laughs> It's doing that because the laptop camera is not great. <laughs> you guys like how it's frozen on the literally worst picture ever of me? We're get oh there we are. Hi guys, total different angle. Hang this on. is the webcam. Hold yeah, on. clean it. Clean it. Clean shirt. it off. <laughs> That's better. You y'all don't screenshot that. It's like 720p now. <laughs> yeah, I apologize for the. Uh, I don't know. That's, it, the other day it didn't do it at all. I don't know what. It doesn't have like a consistent right. thing that I can diagnose. Here, find the box to put it on. I'll, I'll find one. Why don't you keep, put it on showing them some that stuff. one right there? Okay, so here's the little one. This one was a dollar, and I'm selling for seven ninety five. Look how big the ball is on there. I think that's sort of cute. I feel like this is more intimate though. Like you're right up there showing them stuff. I don't know if they need to see my face that close. And then this that found, you know how we like to make marriages at the thrift stores? Oh, this is the one that I couldn't find the picture for. This one's not listed. Don't look at this. That's cool. That that never happened. I will that'll be next week. Okay. We found this crown. Mariah actually put it on when she came over for pie today. This came from Renee. I would have paid a couple bucks for it. And I'm selling it for $9.95. It's tin, but it has a reinforced metal ring, so it holds its shape really well. It would be cute with a candle in it, but I also like it with maybe like a candlestick or on top of... Oh, we're losing those. Or on top of something. This would be really cute. All right, so this is separate strings of garland, but I think we're selling them all together. Um, the camera stopped working. 3LJN, I don't know what that name yeah, is. Yeah, the camera. What's it's the got glass? A... Oh, it's these. Those are clanking. All right, this I'm moving these across the room. Let's talk Just about, about those. Real quick. Okay, two ninety nine, and we're selling for twelve ninety five. There you go. These came from Renee, but she originally bought them at Savers. If you want to buy the clanking glass, here you go. Yeah, it's been clanking the whole live stream. All right. <laughs> it's being moved. So this is three separate strands, um, and you can have them all for sixteen ninety five. The low, low price of sixteen ninety five. They came from Renee. Are they three? I thought they were only two. There's three. Are you? Oh, there's there's a bug. Did you just take that outside? There's a bug. Yeah, that was in the garage a minute ago. It's not a bad bug. It just looks like a friendly bug. But it's I a box know. elder bug. Yeah. Goodbye. This done. It's the time of year when they like to come inside. <laughs> Sally says she was right. It was a little catty. The catty is gone. The bug is gone. We're now moving on with our, our live. Okay, this came from Renee. It has these two top pieces here. Where's the price on this one, Zeb? Oh, there it is. Um, I'm selling for $26.95 for the whole thing, and you get these also, these like Danny SEOs. Are we going to be paying Oh, hey, okay. these originally were $9.95 each at Marshall's. So you get these and this for twenty six. So it has a corner over here that I'm a dog has. I'm not it because if it was up against the wall, you wouldn't see it. A dog it. is I really like the loved on the, the corner. Wood. Here, Sean. We don't know. A dog, a Could have been teething a cat. baby, Redrick. Redrick, he, chew he chewed on everything. He chewed on a bunk bed once. I got to not look over there. I got to look over here. Yeah. All right. And all the comments are still right there, too. So. Uh, the distressed darling bought that crown, and she's going to wear it. You wear this crown, man. Jack was taking pictures with the Alexa with it on earlier. Oh, was he? Yeah. Everybody's worn this today, and now you're going to wear it. So, good job. Caitlin also put it on when she walked in the door. <laughs> she's here showing Odilia how to monitor the live stream because she's going to be gone next week. And she's going to be gone with Ivy. And Mariah's going to be out of town. And Ashley and Lauren, everybody. I'm like, you guys cannot have parties together on a Saturday night. So, Odilia's going to be monitoring because she's the bomb. Really cool metal or aluminum. It's aluminum. Yeah. Just uh, cup. I think he's so cute with a succulent in it. I just am a sucker for a good aluminum mug. It's a big size, like a solid what 20 ounces? 16? Um, yeah, I'd say it's a two cup mug. A two cup mug. So a pint at least. Uh 75 cents, and we're selling for $6.95. Oh, that's Odelia commenting right now. Let's see. That crown is from a glass lampshade. Oh, good to know. I didn't know. All right, we're moving along. I'm gonna hand stuff to you because you've got the good the good angle there. Joy and cheer, also from Renee, nine ninety five. I would have paid at least two or three dollars for it. I like the green. When we say she unloaded, like we're like, wow, I just cleared off the porch and look at all this new stuff. Like I know, she, she, I talked to her for quite a while in the shop today 
while she was shopping and she's like, I brought some stuff for you. She's like a whole van load. I'm like, okay, cool. Cause usually when someone says a whole van load, they got like four or five things. She had a whole van load. And Renee had really good taste. So I was like, yes, please. I'll take that. The cup would look cute with candy canes in it. Oh, that would be so cute. Not too shabby. Patty. She said it reminds her of little house on the prairie. All right, so this is terracotta, but it's got like a salt wash something texture on it. But well, it's really originally cool. this one was twenty-five dollars, and this one was like fifty forty-five ninety-nine, and we're selling the pair for forty-four ninety-five. But we're gonna paint them and wax them because while I love the texture and the shape, I don't love the color. I feel like it's kind of muddy. It's so weird to look over here. Like I don't know where to look because I'm used to looking in the camera. So. Um, let's see, just see if there's any other questions. All right, next we've got this right here. It was from Renee as well, and it comes with pine cones in it and it doesn't have a price on it. Do you? you sure? It had a price on it. No. We'll wait for Caitlin. To we'll wait for the price on this one. All right, we're going to move along. Caitlin, let me know when you get that one on there. Okay. I thought Next, I had one. Shiny. Oh, these ones. These ones are, these also came from Renee. They look like depression glass, but they're not. They're definitely newer and they're swirly and pretty. And Odelia saw them. She's like, ooh, pretty. She's like, I want those. Set of four, $22.95 for the set of four. This is a bag of bells. A bag of bells. And they're, they're set up, they're ornaments, but they're set up like music notes. Cute. There's like they got a good seven, tone to them. What's seven times three? 14. Oh, there's a 20, bunch in 21. Here. There's 21 in there. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's 21 in there. Let's see. Let me help you before you get us out of here. I'm there not, you go. I'm not getting out of there. I'm just making sure. I'm wondering if this didn't get listed. Okay, if it didn't, I'll listen next week. All right, so bells. $24.95 and you get 21 of them. They're, they're metal, all of them. So anything metal these days, if you can get something that's all metal and not plastic or resin, you're doing real good. All right. So this is a wire like a uh, saucer with a mug. Yeah. I think it'd be really cute with like moss in it and some floral. $6.95 came from Renee. I would have sent like, I don't know, a buck or two on it. Now those bells are very good. Rare find. Nice. Yes, they're good. Jana wants those. The, it says the bells are sold. I don't know who bought the bells. Let's see. All right. Oh, we've got go a little one. box. This is like a decoupage craft box. It's, it's like got, a paper craft. Yeah. It's got some fun stuff on there. Let's oh, see Renee if I bought them. Focus. Renee bought the bells. So $6.95. The bottom is actually got the best design it's like Isn't a little wallpaper cute? and i like the little like bike on there yeah yeah cute little box little paper craft box if i hold it up here it focuses good yeah. it's like down here is blurry. sorry jana those those sold stink all right so more shiny brights thought that zeb broke one of the shiny brights because we sold two sets last week turns out there was just a third one, box just one is missing yeah so there's 11 instead of 12 so instead of 16.95 they're going to be 12.95 <clears throat> And um, these are from the church. Yep. These are out of the basement and the stuff that they did not take with them. We helped clean it all out and this was left in there. Is this chalkware? This one, it was a dollar selling it for $12.95. It is vintage it's chalkware. Got, it's got some flea bites. Well, it. I showed the picture on there. A lot of chalkware does just because of the nature of it, but I couldn't pass these up and chalkware is super collectible. And I just love the cute little husband and wife. If you were doing like a little vintage wedding theme, wouldn't that be so cute? So $12.95 and I paid a dollar. Sally says, shiny bright. <laughs> All right, we've got a, part, a pair of partridges, a mama a and a baby. Partridge and a pear tree. Yep, $11.95 and we paid 75 cents each. Look how cute these are. Would you paint them? Um, I, don't, I don't know if they're getting painted or not. Are we painting them? I don't think that we are. I'm going to double check because I swear that I didn't put that there, but the second I say that, then... It's a little previous no, for Valentine's Day, but we thought we'd throw it in here anyway. Hey, my friend Kathy is really good, and she's like, I'm already saving for Valentine's Day. And I saw that, and I was like, I'm picking that up. These remind me of the 80s. Like, I, these were really popular, like the plasticky covered wire baskets. And I love, I have an Easter bunny in the shop right now. So $6.95 for this little heart. 
All right, two turtle doves, yes. Okay, so cute little pressed glass creamer. Um, I think we got this out thrifting, did we not? Um, I believe yes. I believe that's one that I snagged up. For $1. Dollar. We're going to sell it for six ninety five. Look how cute that is. It's not crystal or anything, but it is really pretty. Is this on the to-be-painted list, or are you leaving this as it? That's being painted. Okay. Yeah, that's being painted. Um, so it's, I would have probably bought this for about five bucks, maybe just a touch more than that. Um, it's got a cast iron base and then like, it looks like grapes and leaves vine around it. That's pressed tin. Uh, we're selling it for $19.95. We're going to paint it up. Don't know what color might get painted tonight. We're, we got about 20 minutes left here. So we got 20 minutes we gotta, stuff to show. We got to hurry. It's been a long day. Somebody, what if, somebody texted me, they're like, are you going to go live? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you're crazy. And I'm like, you know, long day, so go live. We even got a whole round of Frisbee golf in with the kids. Oh, I'm so tired. Mariah and We played 12 holes of Frisbee golf. We've got a part just down the road from us that's got a uh, whole course set up with all the, the little chain things that you throw it into. The goals, I don't know what you call it, the holes. Yeah, I don't know. I've never played Frisbee golf, so I don't know the word for it. So this is cool. It's like a stocking holder or a towel holder. Um, this base is cast iron. It can sit on the edge, but it's also a chalkboard. So you can switch that up and do what you want. Nine ninety five, and it came from Renee. And oh, it was Heidi that said that I was nuts because Heidi knows how tired we're. I'm like, you if we didn't go live when we were tired, we wouldn't have like fifty percent of the Yes. <laughs> um, it's a fun time. So plus bonus, it also has a hole for if you want to like actually mount it permanently somewhere. There's oh yeah, a place so it's gonna to come off. Screw, so you could put something heavy off that hook. It'd be cute if you had like your purse because you know purses get pretty oh, heavy. Yeah, you I don't put know. On a yeah, the hook would hold. I feel like it could. Yeah. yeah, that's good. All right, we're moving along. All right, next. <laughs> I don't know, like. Who here loves greyhounds? I don't and know who loves especially greyhounds. some some blingy ones because they've got rhinestone collars like a rhinestone greyhound they're actual ornaments and, and if you're into the greyhound ornaments you can pick up six of them for the low low price of 9.95 so they're actually pretty well done they look like brass but they're not heavy they're plastic and um it's these also came from renee let's see it's disc golf and you shoot into a basket disc golf there you go um, and then Distressed Arlen said, it's after 11 here. I needed an energy drink to wait for our live video. I'm just drinking water in here. So but that's because I plan on going to sleep after this. All right. So we've got this big, these are like all berry picks put on a, uh, on a wreath. And it's warm in here. if you wanted to just get these for the berry picks, there's probably a hundred dollars worth of berry picks on here. Some of them have not a hundred, maybe like how, how much? How much do they cost? A for buck like a one? pick. A buck a pick? Yeah, that's it. I thought they were like. Well, three listen, or four. I haven't bought them new in many, many years. But when I did buy them, they're about a dollar a pick. So there's a couple berries missing here and there, but overall, it's in pretty good shape. And the picks, one was loose, and I, I had it out. They're they're good. So Ooh. the whole wreath. If you want to leave it as just a wreath, is nineteen ninety five. Oh, Leah bought the orb with lid that we're gonna paint. So we'll see if we get it to, if we don't get it painted tonight, we'll get it painted this next week and get it shipped out. And if you have ordered stuff in the last like week or so, it's been insane between the IOD sale and then now the Black Friday sale. And Ivy's been out of town, so we've been shipping like crazy. Things are getting out. Are you taking my water? I'm just moving it. So it's okay. I'm... I don't need my water. You can Not right in front of your face. There you Sorry. Go. Weird angle. All right, let's see. Leah got that. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show. Again. Oh, these. she got my butter dish from last week. That used to be my butter dish. Okay, I didn't know what to call these. We thrifted these a while ago. They've, They've been, been in, in the, the garage, garage a long Jinx. time. <laughs> They've been in the garage for a long time, and um. Is it like plow collars for horses? Yeah, it's like an antique plow collar situation. It's a set. I paid thirty dollars for them, and it's selling for eighty nine ninety five. And people that love equestrian will polish these up and hang them on the wall. They are legit old. You can see like the straw yeah, inside so of them. it's leather stuffed with straw. Shelly, we did show the oversized cutting board. Let me I'm going to leave them in the bag because they're pretty, uh, they're authentic. And they're ginormous. Where's the, well, Shelly, if I find the cutting board, I'll grab it for you. Well, we did show that. This one? Um, yeah, she wanted to see that again. 
So this is the good sized cutting board. We're gonna sand it and re-oil it. It's gonna get sanded and oiled, and we're gonna take whatever. I don't know why there's a screw in this, but that's coming out. It had a handle. Oh, okay. Well, it no longer but it has doesn't have screw. the handle anymore. We never. It was at the thrift store without the handle. All right. I'm let's... gonna I'm gonna show them this box. This like the grab oh, okay. bag box of goodies. <laughs> You're shaking the. Shaking the uh, all right, I'll walk careful. Laptop there, it's all right. So, this is everything for one price. Um, if you look at the picture, oh, you can see all the items. Look how pretty these are. I think there's like half a dozen of these in there. It might have made them. I don't this know. This is like a mesh, no, it's mesh. a mesh ribbon. Okay. It comes with this ribbon, like everything you need to decorate a tree. There's, there's a bunch of these blue, um balls i actually photograph less than you'll get you'll get more just in case because they're glass and you just never know it's glass right mm -hmm. yeah you never know how things are going to hold up so i was like i'm going to offer less and then if they all make it then we're good but the whole thing is 29.95 there's also um a giant music note and there's some other some random gold glitter cute decor so you get all of it for $29.95. It's already in the box ready to go. Although it'll be packaged much better than that. Let's see. Let's see if there's any questions. Everybody's good. Okay. Some uh, people put mirrors in the collars, Denise said. That would be cool. All right. That would be good. Linens. Okay. So these are old postcards. One says hearty Thanksgiving greeting. I know we're a little late. They're cute. Twenty. But we got them today. Yeah. $24.95. For the set, look how cute they are. So Jana says, I love a grab bag. It's a really, it's, you know, I love all of it and it probably cost hundreds of dollars to buy it new, but I was like, listen, I'm tired and it, you're getting all of it $29.95. So I figured someone would buy it for a good deal. But yeah, these are two for $24.95. Les says I couldn't find the bells. They actually sold less. So someone must have found them, but they are sold. Everything okay, Redrick? We have a blue uh, throw, perfect for your couch. Or for you, Zeb. Came from Renee. It could also be a scarf. What did we price this one at? I think it was like $16.95. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What is, I'll have to I, wait till Caitlin. This one didn't up. get the sticker on or the. Okay, I think that was $16.95. Wait, it's right here. $12.95. $12 even better. Yes. All right, $12.95 for this cute blue throw. It's like a blue gray. This is a gorgeous tree skirt. Also came from Renee. So back porch offering. Actually, all velvet, of this is that, isn't it? Velvet and tapestry, except for this, I think, came from either Diane or Joanne. But I think that's from Diane Johnson. I wouldn't swear to it. Or it could also be from... All right, tell me about know. that. Anyway, sorry. It's getting late. It's been in the studio for a long time, so I'm not really sure. $12.95. And this is like a gold tapestry and velvet tree skirt. Okay, moving on. Um, this, I would say this is pretty, oh, between a crib and a twin. Like it's yeah. too big for a crib. It's really, it's very heavily quilted. So yeah. it's actually got a lot of, a lot of hand done it. stuff. Look at all this. Like, can you imagine? So yeah, this we got for free. Me. I probably would have paid 10 or $15 for it. And I think we're selling for like $24.95, 20 95 I don't know. Somebody bought it. It's already so. gone. I don't remember. They're showing I, that. It was That's... on there somewhere. Okay, yes. Yeah, so this is $28.95 and it's really that? pretty. Yes. Oh, it's all sheep. It's all sheep and it's like it's a, a table, table runner. runner. And somebody gave it to me and I can't remember I've had it forever and used it for decor. And I'm passing it along because I can't keep everything. And there you go. And it just hit my teeth. So sorry about that. Moving along. I love the colors in this. This one's really pretty. It's from Eklund Master Weavers. 100% cotton. Eklundweavers.com. Now I want to look these up and see what else they have there. But it's really pretty. It's a very pretty woven runner. Um, oh, $26.95. That's how much that one was. Okay. All right. These are like tapestry. Can you hear that? These are tapestry. Can you feel the scratchies? These are really well made. Nice set of pillows, $24.95 for the pair. And it's like a tan 
and gray and cream is, I would say that's gray. Yeah. yeah they're really it cool. leans blue when you put it next to this Denise one. is going to bed. Yes. And then we've got this big one. This one's just sold individually and does not have a price. Zeb set this live up. So I have to wait, but so look, at, I like all the nubbies. I know, you but still home doing these. can't I blame it on you? I guess. I didn't know that they weren't pressed. Also came from Renee. They're, they're going to drop the link for this in a little bit. We'll show those ones while we wait for this link. These are sold as a set, these two. $26.95 for the pair. And they are feather. You see that? Boom. $26.95. And these are like a blue. I don't know if it look, maybe looks black on camera, but they're like blue and navy. Different shades of blue and maybe even like a teal. Like a soft, the dusty not teal. liking these. It's like trying to find Look what. at the pictures <laughs> on the actual... Um, on the actual picture and they'll be better quality so these are the down stuff. blue stripe pillows but where's the texture pillow i don't see that on there have, have you guys been able to find that one let me see let me see if i can find it all right sorry guys I don't, oh, it's sold. So $16.95. Ta-da! All right, this sold for $16.95. Sally says, never bought or sold anything on eBay. I have a little bit. It's a total different, like, animal. Did we show everything? I think that's all. actually all of the stuff. I feel like I just did, like, the Jerry Lee Lewis telethon. All right, what do you want to paint? <laughs> um, let's paint, and I don't think that this... I don't yeah, think that don't this that actually made it. made it. So this will have to go next week. Let's do these urns. Which ones? Oh, the, yeah, where'd they get set? Yeah. Are they over here? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're way over there. Okay. Should I paint? Are we painting this or are we leaving this? No, that's as is. This is as is. Jackrabbit deer situation is an as is. All right. What okay. color do you want to paint this? Um, I don't know. We got a lot. We always do like greens and blues and grays. Never or very rarely red, and also yellow. Neither one of those make the cut very often in our decor. If you notice, we have lots of color, not yellows or reds in here. Even for there's Jamie's, red on my pillows. there's there's some maroon stripes on her Christmas pillows. Those are red. Are they red? Uh huh. And I have a red and white striped paper in there, and my beeswax candles are yellow. Okay. Uh, Leslie said she didn't think we'd paint. We got eight minutes. We got to at least be a whole hour. That was a big thrift haul. Hopefully you guys had fun looking through all of that. And some of the stuff didn't even make it. So I think there's just two items that I thought I listed and I didn't. So we'll all right. do that. Here you go. All right. Weathered wood. So if you guys are new here, you can buy the paint at jamierayvintage.com as well. This is DIY paint, clay based, all natural, sticks to just about everything. Weathered wood is one of our favorites for painting with white wax and it makes stuff look like cement. So I think it'll be really good on those. So we're going to get these painted up here and then we'll hopefully get a heat gun and at least maybe show the smaller one. Yeah. I'll do the smaller one first. Yeah. Oh, you just touched my brush. <laughs> yeah. I just got baptized. These are paint. really textured. Yeah. This one's not so much, but I do love the base on this. Yeah, the base is cast iron on that. Yeah. It's oh, good. that's why I love the base. You didn't even know. I didn't know why I loved it, but now I do. The base is weapon green. It makes it heavy. I don't love this faux rust look. I know that it's kind of coming back in style. They actually sell products that will make your stuff look like this. The brown, orangey, yellow, just it's not my jam. So I usually will paint. It's got kind of like a real 70s vibe, which is also that, that coloring is making a comeback right now. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it doesn't have a place in design. Everybody has their own little opinions about things. People have opinions about my stuff. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, if you don't like all white, it's cool. I get that. So, one of the things we've been kind of saying we we're going to talk about and we have not talked about yet. Um, I oh, think it's probably a good time. Yeah, you and you know it? what? We'll know if people watch the whole video because we're almost done. And this yeah. is something I think people will have a Well, there's still on. like 700-something people watching, yeah. I think. there's people on here watching. Well, that's just, yeah, on the two. 
we um so people have been asking us like why we haven't done more filming at the church um and there is a and little why bit the project isn't already half torn down <laughs> part of it is because we've got to get like we've got to plan everything out you can't just rip into a 130 year old church willy-nilly because it's a 130 year old church don't want to mess it up but part of it is also because we have been um working with a production company we do not, we are not assigned to any network yet, but we have signed a contract with the production company, allowing them time to sell the project, meaning pitch the show to places like Netflix or HGTV or Discovery or places like that. Um, and so they have until the beginning of the end of January, the end of January to sell the project, to sell the to project. Someone. Originally they and wanted, if they don't, then we can get in there and do it. And they, it's getting filmed one way or the other. Yeah. Um, and this is something we've actually been working with this production company for months, kind of behind the scenes, going back and forth about what, you know, they might want to make a show out of or whatever. And we have talked to other production companies in the past. This is just the first time we've ever got to the point of a sizzle reel. Um, and a sizzle reel is just like an audition and, we have sent the sizzle reel in. It's being edited and sent to HGTV or whichever networks. I don't know if I'm even allowed to say that, but they, there will be places looking at it next week. Let's just say that. I actually so don't exciting know. Exciting stuff, we think. I don't actually know where it's going to be sent because I'm not privy to that like information, but that's just my assumption there. But anyways, that's why. So, so we will show you as much as we can. We did negotiate in our, our contract with them that we could show you that video from yesterday. They did not want, they did not want to allow us to do that. And I, because I guess that's kind of standard procedure when selling a show that nobody has seen the project. And I was like, I think this is different because we're already on YouTube. And I was like, you know, what? we would not have the church at all if it weren't for people that were watching us and supporting us all these years. So there would be zero show to be had. And I was like, I don't care whether you don't want to offer me a show or not. I am not going to not show these people the inside of the church. Like that's just yeah. bottom line. And so we negotiated in there ahead of time that we could, if we do get picked up, we will probably have to take the video and put it on private. So it's no longer like public out there. Um, you'd have to have the link to watch it again. But I was like, we need to show people it's non-negotiable. Um, it was a little surreal negotiating a contract because I've never done anything like that. But we went back and forth and wrote it about 8,000 <laughs> different times because they also wanted to be like, okay, you can't film anything. I was like, um, we're still going to make YouTube well, content. And we also people. were like, hey, the barn needs to have yeah. some stuff. It didn't even have a back door on like, it. So we, we can't needed to wait. do a couple things like work. And they actually were really good with yes. some of the things that we wanted, um, making uh, some amendments to that. They're like, okay, we get that. That that makes sense. So that that's what's going on in case – you guys were uh, like wondering what's going on. And I, I, it's a weird kind of surreal situation, but it's still a total long shot, even though like the production companies are like, we love you. We think you're awesome. Like that's their job to tell you that because <laughs> um, we've worked with multiple companies before. Like it's not the first time we've been approached, but um, yeah, it's weird, but that's what's going on. So uh, we're we're filming anything that we so are you'll doing. So that way, probably a lot of furniture videos yeah. coming up. <laughs> Lots of furniture videos while we work on it, and I just it was. I'm I'm going to tell you 152 percent. This 152. this 152. 152. This project here, if we did not film and edit it, could have been done probably three months sooner. Yeah. Easy. It took it's, a lot it, longer it's a, to film it. We do it because that's our job and we love it, but it also makes things go a lot longer. So it would be such a huge blessing to be able to work on that project and not also have to be the film and editing crew and just get to work on it. Um, and I think the video quality would be better. But if they decide that, hey, they don't want to do this, anything we've been doing thus far, we've been filming. So we've got content. So one way or the other, it's going to be out there. All right. So this looks really dark on this camera. And it is pretty dark. It's the. But we're the, coming with white wax. We're coming in with white wax. You want to grab the heat gun? I'm going to paint this big one. Uh -huh. I just wanted to show you guys the difference between. Let me see if I can move this without getting fingerprints all over it. So between the uh, the painted and the non painted, this is it wasn't bad. We just wanted it to be all uniform, and it kind of has like a mossy look, like stuff's been growing on it. It's got greens and the terracotta coming through. 
and this will make it look more like like textured cement when we're done and it's one of our favorite things to do yeah, so we did have a worked up in our contract that even if we're working on that that we can still make youtube content consistent not on the church specifically but on everything else that we're doing and diy projects and furnitures and projects around our house because we've already filmed it um, for YouTube. So there's still gonna be content coming out. So we had to, we had to do a little negotiating. I'm not, they were kind of like, what? We don't, people usually just say, yeah, we want to show. They don't worry about anything else. I'm like, listen, we got some negotiating to do because I got my friends. All right. Let's see what people are saying. Uh, oh, they've got questions. If you ever have questions about painting and we don't answer them on a live, you can always email um, customer care at jamierayvintage.com and we'll help you out. That gets a hold of Caitlin directly. And if she doesn't know the answer for you, she will actually text us or call us and be like, hey, how do we fix this problem? And send us your pictures that you've sent her and everything. And we troubleshoot it and try to walk through it. So it's not like, you know, oh, I'm just texting someone um, that. You know, I'm not texting Jamie or Zeb. We it's it, not a bot. If it goes above like what Caitlin's knowledge is, which is pretty extensive these days, she knows how to fix most things. Um, then, then J Caitlin will hit us up and and uh, we'll troubleshoot it together and see if we can help you out. Let's see, um, oh. They were looking for the pine cone, but they, oh, I think you're talking about the pine cone container. That one did not get listed. The one with the actual pine cones in it. I'll get that up before next week. Sorry about that, guys. Can you start drying this? Oh, my God. Dorothy said it was laughing at my Jerry Lee Lewis telethon. I used to watch those for hours. <laughs> I couldn't, like, I couldn't break away from them. I don't know. She's like, what are they going to show next? I would donate my, like, allowance money. <laughs> my mom would be like, are you sure you want to do it? I'm like, yes, I do. Um... Everybody says Caitlin is the bomb. She is awesome. We love her to death. Um, Rebecca says, what a wonderful opportunity, sending positive vibes and praying for the best turnout. You know, at the end of the day, like it is super exciting, but I also, if it didn't happen, I wouldn't be heartbroken because I super love, uh, I super love my life. I love what we do. I love YouTube. I love um we're like putting it on facebook we love yeah we love doing facebook videos and we love creating things and changing things and but i also realized that if this is god's plan then it's going to happen right like there's no stopping what he does so i our prayer has kind of been the whole time like if this is something you want to happen then make it happen and we will do it and it's the same i feel like the same way with the church when we were like i don't know if this is a good idea and we're like please if it's not a good idea then just make it not happen. And the total miracle of all miracles, the loan went through and we closed on the church and never thought that would happen. So yeah. It's well, just, just the happens. fact that the previous owners entertained uh, talking to us. I mean, like we said, it took two months to get it kind of under contract on something we could agree on. And they weren't in a big hurry to sell it. It wasn't for sale. They, they have been approached by probably hundreds of people over the years and they're just like, no, it's our home. We're not selling it. And then we approached them and they're like, you know, we think it's time. And I, you know, you got to wonder, especially the way the timing worked out. There's a lot of things that maybe someday we'll talk about, but the way that the timing worked out um, and with the production company and the producer that we've been working with, um, with things he's done with his job and the way things have aligned, it's just been really crazy. Like he was ready to, to, to work with us, even though we talked with him for months at the same time, he didn't realize that the church was actually going through and closing. So you never know. Oh, and it's supposed to be painted. Oh, they did. They did found the square container with pine cones. It's 1895 and it will be painted. I knew it. I knew it was on there. We just didn't get the price. Marked. All right. So if you don't know what we're talking about, I'm not painting it right. This hey, time you're supposed to be heat gunning this. So we can show them white wax. I was talking to my friends. You got super distracted. Hold on, I gotta move the shiny brights. <laughs> can you? I move the orb. Yep, I already moved it twice. Well, can you move it like there? Yep. Okay. The texture on this is kind of making it a bear to paint. The other thing is, it would be nice. To, uh, I'll, I'm going to move this. 
it would be nice to have some TV show money because our church is going to need a lot of work. <laughs> Put it in all the structural upgrades. Yeah. Virginia's laughing at me because I said I was just talking with my friends. It's true. We only get together like this. I mean, we have our Wednesday live, but the Saturday live is different. These are all our picking friends that appreciate all the old trusty stuff like we do. All right, I'm not going to worry about doing the inside, I don't think. And then we can white wax because we we're not going to white wax the inside. Do you need me to grab you some white wax? <clears throat> Lehigh is a hot spot. McGee and Company has a show on Netflix. So mm -hmm. I actually did, I had zero clue who McGee and Company were, and I still don't really know. I haven't really watched them because um, their style is kind of fancy, and I'm just not a fancy girl. But uh, I think that they have a, a shop or office on Main Street, which is not far from here. I never see anybody there, but yeah, they do have an office. Like a studio where they film. I don't think it was this production company, but earlier in the year, we were actually talking to a different production company about a different project they wanted to work on. Um, and they asked us if we knew who they were and they acted like, you don't know who they are. And I'm like, I have, I don't. <laughs> Deb and I watched Star Trek. And recently the Great British Baking Show, comment if you like the great british baking show because we do that's what it's called right yeah yeah i thought so we've been going back and watching the old episodes with mary berry i think in in uh, the uk it's known as the great Bit british bake-off oh yeah great british bake-off okay. but here in, in the u.s it's called the great british baking show i don't know why they change it but Elaine, my dad, is doing good. He's in rehab. He just got out of the hospital and hoping to pick him up in a week or so. He does need prayers. He's still kind of sad about being stuck still in the hospital. And um, he's he doesn't like the food. So I have to call. The other day I called him. I said, Dad, you just need to eat it so you can come home. We bought a new car. Uh, for Zeb to drive around with the kids, but also to fit my parents in, we bought a Suburban. And so we gave them a tour of the Suburban to show them. Yeah, Do you our, have a wax brush? Oh, I forgot that. I got you the wax and didn't get you a brush. Sorry. So I would go light because of this texture because we're not going to be able to wipe it back. So whatever like wiping back you do is probably going to have to happen with a brush. I can't wipe back. So I would dip it and then hit. Yeah, there you go. Offload. No, you're going to have to wipe it back. Um, I don't, like, just keep going, and as it runs out, go hit a spot that has a lot of wax. Okay, so don't use a lot of wax, is what you're saying? Yeah. All right, I'm going to listen, because I am an obedient one. <laughs> uh, you've, got, you've got good jokes. I got jokes all day, man. You know what I'm disappointed about when people watch that video? Not that many people comment about me climbing up on your on your hand and... <laughs> I'm trying to film that, like, if you guys watch the video and you see us, legit, that is how it did, like went down. That was not for TV, not for uh, <laughs> camera purposes. I'm like, let me look in here. And so we're filming. And he's like, hurry and film. So I'm like, I am. And then I accidentally took a picture <laughs> instead of filming. He's like, hurry up. You're getting heavy. <laughs> but we made it out. It was pretty, we were laughing pretty hard when it was actually happening. All right. Did I get it all? Yeah, it looks like you did. Okay. Are you going to try to get some clear wax and wipe it back? Where's the washcloth? You did uh, all of that laundry the other day. They're upstairs in the laundry room. Can you go grab me a washcloth out of the laundry room record? They're up in the cupboards by the towels. Oh, no, go. Give me the washcloth. All right. Jodrick's going to grab me a washcloth and I'm going to wipe this back. Elaine says that was hilarious. Bobby says, love those British baking shows. They are so proper. I know. And even when they're like not saying something nice, they're like still nice. I'm like, dang, that's good. Or 
if like the judges are mean to them, they're like, it's it's okay. It's okay. And they're crying, but they're still like sweet about they're it. They're like crying, like, hey, but they're you hugging guys at this. Well, you guys have good upbringing. They're like crying, but they're still hugging. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, you beat me, but give me a hug. <laughs> oh, they changed the name because Pillsbury has a bake off copyright in the US. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. We just like it because it's funny and it's clean and we love baked goods. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. All right. Good good luck getting that. It's so textured. It's so textured. You don't think I can? I didn't say you can't. I'm just saying good luck. I'm just wiping back this white wax. You're right. It is pretty textured. But it's coming off. You see that? So I'm wiping back. This is what it looks like without wiping it back. And this is what it looks like wiping it back. So it kind of gives it like a stone wear look. And it's a little bit better than that greenish color that it was. So, all right, we are going to finish these projects up. And I'll, I don't think these are purchased yet, this set. So I'll get the pictures updated next week. You guys can shop along at jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Have a fabulous weekend. You did a pretty um, good job wiping this off. I didn't think you were going to get it because I'm like, oh, that's, it was like snagging on the brush. Listen, oh, yeah, little fake. All right. Bye, you guys. Love you. Catch you guys later.